Hello guys, Susanna here. Back to do some more stuff for the Artology design team. Um, I got inspired by Gina on Firefly Studio. Um, I was going to make some stuff with envelopes and bits and pieces anyway. Um, but I watched it and I'm like, oh, I've got to go out and get some. So I've got these envelope, this envelope here and um, I've got one CD envelope. I've got these great envelopes from DD. I'm using a fair bit from what De um, the Happy Mail that I got from DD. And um, I'm going to be using two books in conjunction with um, my um, Luck for the Fairies. So I was going to use, I still am going to use, I've got little um, Tim Holtz paper dolls and those beautiful butterfly wings that I got from um, DD as well. So I'm still going to use a couple of them when I need little butterflies, little fairies, which I'm going to turn into fairies. So I've got that. But I've got this really cute book and they're very Australian. So um, it's called, this is the May Gibbs Baby Book and it's got all these gorgeous little, they're sort of not, maybe not so much um, fairies, but they're gum nut babies and it's just, it's so cute little gum nut babies so I've got bits and pieces that I've cut out from there um, and then this other one which was interesting reading the back of this this lady Pixie O'Hara can imagine having a name like that and drawing fairies and pixies um, was offered a job to work with Mae Gibbs who was already famous at that stage so she's a little bit later but um, she wanted to make it on her own so um, I've gotten some really cute um, illustrations from here. Like, I've still want to cut some out, but um, so cute. I want to put that one in here. I want to have that sort of behind there. So, little pixies and fairies and all that kind of stuff. The colours, the colourations, and everything is so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Really, because it's sort of in watercolour. Big bit like this. Oh, here's another one which I'm going to just have it as collage on paper, bit of paper. So nice. Even just just try to use as much as I could out of that. So I've got that sitting in the background there. Look, they're so cute. Because um, I usually always use the uh, the Mary um, in Mary's no, Cecily Mary Barker. I think that's her name. That's the flower fairies. But I thought, ah, oh, oh, I'll utilise some Australian stuff. Um, and they're sort of, she's like our flower fairy lady. And uh, May Gibbs. And now I found this lady, Pixie O'Hara. So I was pretty happy when I um, found these books. So what I'm going to do, I've got, I think this was part of the front cover, which I really loved. Isn't it gorgeous? And I want to have that as part in the center so that when you like have a, a journaling card so i've just got a bit of plain paper which i've cut to the traced around that so i want to cut i might cut it a little smaller because it's i want it to go in it's left over from book page so it's a little bit thicker, but not too thick. I might see if it goes in. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to cut it a little smaller, I think. Um, both sides. Of course, better to have it a little smaller than too big. Then I've got the tear sheets and the these these as well which I'm going to use one each from both of them um, there we go I want it to be a little smaller I might just have a little cut out here just so that you can see that it's got a card in there there you go I'll ink around that now I'll um oh 
I'll try not to go too low so you can't see it. It doesn't matter because it'll have the journaling card in there. So what I want to do is I'm going to put that on there. I'll put it on this side, I think, because I want to cover that up. And I really like... Um, I really want some of this. I like that. But I'm going to fussy cut that. Fussy cut this bit to put on the outside. And I quite like that bit here. There we go. On the inside. Get as much of this as I can. And I pull tear sheets after all. cold in here and I've got the heater on but my hands are pretty cold so this might be a bit of a long video I've got some bits and pieces from the fabulous bay and also I've got this paper which I quite like I got this from um, From um, Andrea, thank you, Andrea. That is awesome. I'm going to use that throughout this journal. So what I might do is cut some of that off and put that on there to um, to thicken it up a little. I think. So um, thought I'd make the actual. Um, journaling card thing to go in there first just so you get a bit of an idea we're doing it a bit different to how other people do it okay put it on there like that there we go So around this when it's done too. So uh, okay. Now this bit here and get a bit of ink. Little bits and pieces left over. Look at my table. Oh my goodness, there is stuff everywhere. I'll do the edge later. So it's going to go there like that. I like it. And then where's that bit of paper that I had? Move these bits. That can be for another tag. There it is. like just like the color of that now where's my little fairy there she is it's gonna go there like that and I might put some there like that and then that'll go in the middle just sort of wanted something a little prettier on the tag so I'll think around that because it's got a bit of a white raw edge now, I'm, I'm utilising this because um, I happened to find it after I um, was going through my stuff. But I was actually initially going to just cut out that. And you just get a mathemat or something that's the same width and you cut out that. And I was going to put a little fairy, but I might still do that on the, on the back of it. So um, you just use what you have. But I really love that. So I'm going to stick that on. Love these tear sheets, I think they're awesome. I printed off a couple because I'd like to use some of them as pages in the book as well. I think they're really pretty. 
Hopefully I'm speaking up loud enough. <laughs> oh my goodness, I really do need to move everything over and clean up this mess a bit. Actually, probably should have put that, that one on first. Love these papers. These are my eco dye ones I got from Faye, who's going to be sending me some more, hopefully. Yay! No, put that in there. think um, now I want that to be in the middle so you're going to see some of that so I need something there and something there oh my hands are freezing freezing so take another look at this Just wondering, I quite like this little butterfly. I'll cut off her antennae and then put it on later. I'm aiming, sometimes you can have ideas about what you want and then you put it on there and it's like, nah, it ain't gonna work. But other times you're like, eh, butterflies are always nice anyway. See how we go. Don't know. Maybe it can go along here. It's not going to go to waste, that's for sure. It would sit better that way, but she's upside down. Doesn't matter. You can have the butterfly flying towards you. That's okay. There's the antennae anchored back in. There we go, butterfly. Make sure you do that. Now, not that you're really going to see too much of it. Now, I need to make sure I put a tiny swab of glue and put it down just to make sure that it's in the middle. Oh, I quite like that. So maybe like that. Yep, I like it. Maybe a little bit more over there. You see a bit of the leaf. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. So actually. Ugh. in a good spot I don't think it needs anything there I'll sew around it a little bit later and then I better clean up the mess I'm leaving okay
I don't think it does need anything because you can use that background paper as the actual paper as well. How oh, pretty. Now. the outside of that. I think I need to stick down that butterfly a little better. Looks like it's sticking up and same with the girl. I don't think this glue stick is the best. Yoohoo glue is the best and I'm just using up what I've got at the moment. Okay. I know what I'll do. Where's my old roller? There we go. It'll hold it down. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's because the paper underneath, because I go to office work, it's a little bit shiny. And so it doesn't always work that well. Okay. Now put this up here. Oh, really? Is this being upside down all this time? Oh no. Oh, well, just have to see how we go because we've got 16 minutes and I think it is, it's been upside down. Oh. Okay, now I might have to um, stop and restart because oh, oh, I don't know how to edit if it goes wrong. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, yeah, I just looked at the camera and the writing and everything is upside down. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, I'll um, hopefully be able to show you this lot. If not, I'll, um, I'll have to come back. Thanks for watching. Bye.